there, friends. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. What is, for most people, a busy, busy day. Weekdays, it's always tough to make it to the gym or make some time for yourself. Um, sometimes we get there. I think we talked about it last Tuesday and just arriving, right? Like we just need to get here, even if we feel like we don't want to be here, and just kind of arrive, land, clear out some space, and let our body take over for a while, right? Definitely experiencing that today. Probably heard me say that every weekday for the past couple of weeks. I'm just going through some crazy stuff at work and, um, you know, but happy to be here. Always happy to be here. And it's definitely one of those things I talk about with clients all the time that, you know, especially when you're driving to a gym or whatever, that the whole time you're just like, oh, I just wish I could go home. Oh, I just, like, you know, I could just drive right past it and go home. Even harder when you're working out at home, right? You're like, I could just sit in this chair, right? <laughs> but then we're always so happy once we start working out, those endorphins kick in and we remember why we're here and we get proud of ourselves for taking the time for the things that we're doing. So awesome work for being here today, guys. Long story short, we've made it, we're here. Let's do some awesome work and, and leave feeling really refreshed and tired but energized and, and ready to take on the rest of the week. So today we are going to be doing the lower body part of our pyramid. So if you were here in my last workout, we did the upper body pyramid. Today we're going to do lower body. So just a quick rundown. I want to get moving as fast as we can um, to make sure that we can get up and down this pyramid twice at least. So um, pyramid workout. We start with five reps and we do exercises up to 50 reps. So we move in increments of five, five, 10, 15, 20, so on, so on, so on. Different exercises assigned to each number. We go from five to 50. We take a short break. We go from 50 to five, and the plan is to do it at least one more time up and down. So that's what we're doing. It's gonna get intense. It's, uh, especially because we're doing, you know, just lower body, just like last workout we did just upper body. So it'll definitely get intense, but stick in there, enjoy it, revel in the burn, and you will be just fine. So all you need for class today is one heavy hand weight. If you don't have one heavy hand weight, it is definitely not required. There's only one exercise actually at all we're going to use it. So it's just an option. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Or if you have two medium-ish hand weights, you could use that too. Whatever you have works, but again, not required. You're going to need a circular resistance band. So that will probably look like this for most of us, this nice rubber circular resistance band. If you just bought some, you're not sure what you're looking at, usually they're going to be like yellow, red, and black, or green, yellow, red. Just think of a stoplight. So greens are easy, yellows are, hold on a little bit, and reds are, whoa, right? Or black could be your whoa, that might be your next level up. There's also these really cool resistance bands. If I'm working with any of my really strong folks out there, these resistance bands are like next level compared to those rubber bands. They really have a lot of resistance, a lot of resistance. And what's beautiful about them is that they don't roll like those rubber resistance bands. Or if you're me, they don't snap in two like those rubber resistance bands have on my video. So just a quick little tip, if you're strong in the legs, you hate the rolling resistance bands, give one of these guys a shot, they're fabric. Um, I just got gifted one by the lovely Sarah Fritz. So I'm gonna give it a shot today. Might be too hard for some of these exercises, but I wanna give it a shot. So just wanted to explain why you're gonna see something a little different on me. So we've got the heavy hand weight, the circular resistance band, and a little bit of wall space. That's all you need. And then of course your yoga mat for the floor. So that's all we need today, super easy. If you don't have the resistance band, you can still do the work. Um, you might even, um, I'll try to remember when we get there, if you don't have a band at all, there's also some exercises you can use a hand weight instead of a band, just a little bit different. Same exercise, just a little bit of different resistance. So, there you have it. There's the story. So, um, our sets are going to be divided into standing and then on the ground. Um, kind of like last time, actually, we'll be standing for part on the ground for part, and then the very last one will be standing again. So 
Um, a lot of that's just to help those of us who have trouble getting in and out of the floor. For me, as I mentioned, I think in the last class of my laundry list of things going on with me right now, I'm having some vertigo issues as well, especially when I'm in the floor. So just don't mind me if you see me taking it a little slower getting up and down out of the floor. Um, all reps today, no time. That's the beauty of the pyramid. Modify as needed. Usually a lower body, it's going to be just don't go so low, but we will approach all those when we get there. And as always, add music if you need it. I will be checking Facebook for questions and just to make sure the video is running when we get to the top and the bottom of each part of the pyramid. And as always, the last couple things I always ask is that you share these workouts, share this message, share the love, share these posts, share these videos, share my YouTube page, share, share, share. Um, just, it, it helps me so much and I do thank you for those who do it for me. I don't see it very often, but I, um, it just doesn't come up in my timeline. So thank you for those who do that. I sincerely appreciate it. And if you do want to Venmo any donations for this class, it is the only way I receive payments for these classes. So it is certainly appreciated at Strong Style Fit on Venmo. And thank you so much to those of you who have been so generous to help me out with these classes um, previously. So I really appreciate you. All right, so I'm gonna grab a drink of water. I'm gonna check the video. Uh, we are going to start with the standing portion of our workout. You'll see I do have a little chair over here to the side. If you have your sturdy chair, this is 100% optional. I really put it here for me, but you might find that you want it too. So if you have a sturdy chair close by, go ahead and grab it, but it's really not on our list of needs. It's just something I wanted for myself today. All right, I'm going to grab water, check video, and we'll rock and roll. All right, I see no questions, comments, concerns. So let's go ahead and get started right away. You are going to hate me right away, um, by the way. So we're going to do what's called a half burpee. So don't get started. I'm going to show you your versions. I'm actually going to get my chair a little out of the way here. So a half burpee is really just focused on the legs. We're only doing five, so don't sweat it. So half burpee, we're going to come down to the floor. We're gonna jump back, and then we jump forward and try to raise our hands at the same time as our feet touch the ground. So we're staying low, come down, that's a half burpee. Or step back, step up, step back, step up, okay? You just tricked me into doing like five half burpees already. <laughs> All right guys, so, with me now, let's do it. Let's go for five. Two. If you're modifying, obviously you're going slower. That's all right. Four. Five. Beautiful. I'll let you finish. I'm going to talk you through the next. So we're doing ten. Woo! The heart rate just went right into the sky. Huh? Got this long like spider web thing all my life. All right, so we're doing a sumo squat, three count drop, and we're going to do ten. So we go wide in our sumo stance, toes out wide, knees track out over toes, so that's our sumo. We're going to do a three count drop. So we're going to go one, two, three, stand. One, two, three, stand. All right? If you want to wait, this is your one heavy weight area. So you're going to hold it here. Or if you have two hand weights, you can hold it like this. Bring it up on your shoulders. Here, tuck that tail under. No duck butt, chest forward. Chest up, tail tucked. We drop. One, two, three. Stand. Zip those legs up. One, two, three. Stand. If you've been sitting all day, this might feel really tight. One, two, three. This is definitely one that you get looser as you do it. Four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six. You might notice that you're able to drop lower. One, two, three, seven. My ankle keeps popping. <laughs> one, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. And goes again. One, two, three, ten. Be 
Beautiful. Set that over to the side. And this is where I'm going to bring my chair in. But it's totally up to you. We're going to do squat hops. So squat hops can look a bunch of different ways. Your fullest version of a squat hop, you sit back and you jump. So that's your squat jump. Or you can just do a little hop squat. Hop. Or toe heel. Toe heel. Hump. Heel raise. Or just some speed squats will work, okay? I'm pulling this chair back because we did those little squat pops off the chair. And that was a really good reminder to me to the depth of squat I want to have and to pop my booty off that chair. So I'm going to use it. Your choice. We've got 15. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just make sure you're landing light. Seven. No big thuds on the floor. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Last one. Boom. Awesome, guys. All right. Got some cardio going for sure. Okay. So this is another one we've done recently. It's the lateral lunge. Shift. Excuse my breathiness. <laughs> this curl don't jump often. <laughs> so, lateral lunge shift. I'll show you one. Actually, I'll show you two, and we'll get started. So, lateral lunge shift. Fullest version. We're gonna lift, squat, step out, slide across, pull in, stand, squat. Step it out. Slide it across. Pull it in. Stand. Or you can keep a toe down. That's another option. Just vary it as you go. I'll talk you through some options as we do it, okay? So shift your weight to your left leg. Lift your right. Lower. But pause. Lower. Bye. Not by doing this, but sitting hips back. See how different that looks? And that really engages that booty. All right, restart. <laughs> Leg up, shift it, slide it out, slide it over. Hips stay back, pull, stand. Two, going for 20, three, Four, five. If you need to slow it down a little bit, six. I usually like to do these quite a bit slower. Seven. We're not speeding through it. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Hips come back. Step it out. Slide it over. Good. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Almost there, guys. Sixteen. We're going down to the floor after this. 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Awesome work, guys. And then that's a lot of those. And going a little, little hair faster than we normally take them, but that's good. Working on stability, being able to move making that brain think quickly, catches quickly, balances quickly. Just, just a different type of challenge. All right, so we're gonna bring it down to the floor. This is where we're gonna put our band on, and it's gonna stay on the whole time until we get to 50. So we're gonna put this band on. Again, you 
You want to make sure it's up around your thighs, never around your knees. We don't want to pull with our knees. So we're going to do 25 bridge lifts with the band. Now with the band, we're not going to be opening big or anything like that. We're just going to have it around our legs for a little bit of attention. So you see I'm here, but when I'm in a bridge, my feet are going to be more like here, which means I'm having to keep constant tension on that band. So that's what we're going for. All right, so we're going to lay it back. So, got my feet hip width apart, so you can see there's some tension on this band. Actually, I'm going to wiggle just to get my whole foot on the mat here. All right, so we're just doing 25 lifts. Again, with a count of one, two, three, four. <sighs> Hold in tension on that band. Don't let it collapse your legs in. Hold it. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Two. Three, four, squeeze those glutes, five, six, seven, weight should be towards the back of those heels, eight, you should not be feeling this in your quads, nine, should be hamstrings, booty, ten, eleven, you should be cracking a wall back between those cheeks. 12, 13. How's the tension on that band? 14. Don't let those knees knock together. 15. Woo! 16. 17. 18. 19. Almost there. 20. 21, 22, woo, 23, 24, 25, cheeks on fire, and I'm not going to lie, it's not going to get any less on fire, <laughs> all right guys, so we have got alternating mule kicks, we're going to do 30, keep that band on, my mule kicks may not be quite as high as normal because of the extra resistance in this band, but form is still going to be on point. So, we're on hands and knees. Again, just like a plank, energetically pushing up through those hands. We're going to flex our feet, and we are going to lift straight up like we're trying to imprint our sole of our shoe on the ceiling. So we're not kicking out like this. We're coming straight up and we're going to alternate. Let's do it. One, two, if you don't have a band, three, you can take a weight and stick it in the crease of your knee. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, halfway there, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. bump into each other so just do 15 on one and then switch the hand weight to the other and do 15 on the other if you don't have a band all right so we're going to lay it on our side and we're going to do over and back toe taps now the band is not necessary for this exercise at all so if you want to take it off for this exercise you can you're just going to have to put it right back on your call whatever you want to do you do you. <laughs> so we're going to lay on our side, hips stacked. We can be up on our elbow here. Just make sure 
you don't start collapsing down into it, that you stay strong and tall, or you can come down to here, or if even this is uncomfortable, you can lay totally flat. So we're gonna be here, feet flexed, we're gonna lift just a little bit, we tap to the front, we tap to the back. Okay, so just wanna make sure that you're not rolling back and forth with it. You can even put a hand here to kind of remind you to stay up straight. All right, we're gonna do 14, or we got 35. So it's a little off on the count, so we'll do about 17 on one side, 17 on the other. One, two, and it's little, three. So it's not big steps out here, big steps back here. Little, four, five, six, seven. That band is definitely going to do some extra resistance. So if it's too much, nine, just take that band off. 10, 11. I've actually never done these with bands before. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We're going to do the other side. So you can either roll over or just spin yourself around. I don't want to make you watch my butt while I do it, so I'll spin around. <laughs> but if nobody's watching you at home, you can just roll over. All right, so other side, exact thing, same thing. Again, you can put a hand here just to make sure that you're not rocking back and forth. We do a little lift, forward and back. Whoops, I got shimmy up. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, it's little taps. Nine, ten. Should be getting this outer hip here. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One more, eighteen. Perfect. Now, stay on the side, we're gonna do clamshells. So, clamshells, you want to stack your feet, your feet, your booty, your back, all should be in one straight line, okay? Now, we're gonna stand up tall through that shoulder. Again, we're not collapsing down, and we're gonna keep those feet together, but not cramming them together and pushing in, just stacked on top of one another. And we open all through this glute. You should feel it. So you don't want to push hard into these feet because that's kind of cheating a little bit. So just keep light feet and we open up. We've got 20 on each side. Let's do it. 20. 19. Put a hand on that booty. Feel it. 18. 17. 16. 15. 14. 13. 12, 11, 10. If you don't have a band, dime. You can take a heavy weight, set it on your leg. Eight, seven, you use that as your resistance. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, other side. This band, total game changer. Woo! All right. So we're going to stack them up. Tall through that shoulder. Feet stacked. Everything in line. Let's do it. Eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Fifteen. Fourteen. 13, really think about that glute, 12, don't let your hip do all the work, 10, 9, 8, 7, it's okay to touch your booty, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, woof, all right, guys, we're going to come up. We've been in the floor for a long time, so just be careful coming up. Make sure you're safe. Perfect. All right, we're going to do, if 
45 second wall sit. I do not have a timer, so I'm just gonna count it out loud for us. That should be close enough, right? I'm gonna leave the band on because we do need it for the next exercise, so why not? I'm just gonna leave it on. You're welcome to take yours off if you want. And we're gonna sit. The only problem is I can't do anything to distract us because I have to kind of count 37, 36, 35, like I usually like to tell stupid stories, 30, 29, 28, 27, also a little extra work because we're holding this band open, right? 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, I know my booty is talking, Woo, 15, 14, 13, if you have the band on, don't let it start collapsing you. Keep it open. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Bring it up. All right. Last thing we're going to do is 50 banded side steps. So I've only got so much room, so I am going to go off camera some, or else I'm going to do 50 side steps in about the span of increments of 3 or two. So we're going to do 50, do 25, leading with one leg, do 25, leading with the other leg. So we stay low and we open and keep it low. So it's not a up and down, just keep it low. Honor system, I'm going to just count 25 each direction out loud to myself, move at your pace or mine. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, other side, 10, 25, 24, 23, Woo! Booty on fire. <sighs> All right, guys, we made it to the bottom. I know that was a long-ish pyramid. Next round, though, we're going to just clap it right out. We're going to go for it, okay? Not so much explanation. Just plow right through it. So take a quick break, get some water. I'll check time, make sure we're still looking reasonable. And then we'll get going again. <sighs> All right. Yep. So I think as long as we move pretty quickly, we'll be able to hit our goal. Just take another couple of seconds. Get your water. Hope you guys are doing all right. Hope those booties are hanging in there. <laughs> it's a lot. That last half is like, whoo, driving it home. All right, guys. So, you ready to do it again? All right. We're going to go 50 banded side steps. I'm going to go ahead and start off camera. So I'm going to walk over to the side. I'm going to count out loud so you can move at my pace if you want or do your own thing. All right, let's go ahead and get started. And let's go in three, two, one. Let's do it. 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, I'm getting crafty, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's bring it back the other way, 25, 24, 23, 22, 
21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, woo, 10, 9, woo, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, whoa, band, holy moly, all right, grab your piece of wall, Ugh, when wall sit, it feels like a break, right, all right, let's take it low, ah, let's do it, just going to count in my head, ah, when you're here, so make sure you've got your whole back flat on the wall. So that might mean you need to press your shoulders in. Peel that tail up. Lay it back. Get a nice flat spine along that wall. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. You got it, guys. Hang tough. Woo! And do a little swim. Four, five, six, 
six. Keep that core nice and engaged. Seven, that'll help with some of that rocking back and forth. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. We're going to eighteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Beautiful. All right, we've got those alternating heel kicks. Come up on hands and knees. Beautiful. Ah, and the vertigo kicks in on that. That's so silly. All right, so roll those shoulders back. Nice long spine. We've got both feet flexed. Remember, if you don't have a band, stick a hand weight in here. Do 15 on one leg, switch. 15 on the other. If you have a band, we're just going to alternate. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Keeping that core nice and tight. Five, six, seven, eight. Stomp the sole of that foot like you're trying to stand on the ceiling. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think this is where I noticed the biggest difference. Seventeen. Without that rubber band, 18, 19, 20. Rubber band always rolls on me in this one. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, almost there. 27, 28, 29, 30. Woo! <laughs> All right, we've got our 25 bridge lifts. So we're over to our back. We've got our feet in line with our hips. If we've got that band on, we've got to open up and put some pressure in that band. So we're keeping that pressure. Remember, it's not an open at the top. We're just keeping that constant pressure to keep our knees in line with our ankles. Change my position a little bit. All right. We've got 25. Let's do it. One, two, three. Drive through those heels. Squeeze that booty at the top. Six, seven, eight. Let's make sure you're keeping those knees open. Nine. If you find it collapsing, just open it back up. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm touching my booty. 18, not pushing it. 19, 20. Just making sure I really feel it squeeze. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, if it wasn't burning before, it is now. Woo! It kind of shifted up into that higher part of the booty. All right, we can finally take this band off. Woo! Hey, remember, we've been in the floor for a while, so just come up gently. Be mindful. Yes, I'm also reminding myself, but it's always just a good idea when coming out of the floor not to hop right up. Unfortunately, a good bit of us if I know who I'm working out with, where are the springiest of chickens anymore? <laughs> All right, guys. Legs should feel nice and free now, right? Out of that band. So we've got those lateral lunge lifts. So again, we're moving with a little quicker pace with these than we normally do, but still keep it focused, keep it steady. I'd rather you not quite get to the 20 and be steady than get to 20 but be falling all over the place. All right? So, we're going to start to one side. Pick that foot up. Shift our hips back. Step it out. Slide it across. Pull it in. Stand. Down. Now your goal is to not touch down with the foot. However, if you have to, you have to. My current balance situation is making me touch down a lot more than I normally have to. That's all right. I 
for a 10 here. 10. Perfect. So this is fun about making that little motion too. <laughs> if I was really social media savvy, I'd like swipe the picture a little bit, but yeah, no. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm putting my chair back in the frame. I'm going to use that for my cue, for my little squat hops. So remember, you can squat jump to your fullest down, way up, or little hops, or heel raises or just some nice speedy squats morning. I'm just gonna use this chair as my cue to pop that booty back up. All right guys, we've got 15. Let's do it. 15, 14, use those arms for some momentum. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, last one, one. Good, awesome. That'll get that heart rate going. Woo. Okie doke, we have got our sumo squat. Three count drop. Doesn't that feel like that was an hour ago? <laughs> it feels so long ago. All right. Probably a lot more open now, so this should feel quite a bit better. So, wide, wide stance, toes pointing out like a 10 and 2, hips, tuck that tail, we're not sticking out, tuck that tail, we've got our chest nice and open, we've got our weight, we're gonna drop it straight down, count to three. One, two, three, zip it up. Keeping those knees open. The knees should track out toward your toes, the same direction. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. If you're having a hard time keeping those knees tracking open, just means you're tightening those hips. And you're really doing some hip stretches. Eight. Three, nine, last one, two, three, ten. Yeah, it just means that you're really tight. And these adductors here, so if your legs are just pulling forward, you can't open them up. Yeah, do some stretches in there. All right, we got our five half burpees. No rest for the wicked, let's just do it. All right, let's go. One. Light landing, two. See if you can get your hands up at the same time as your feet land. Four, last one, five. Woo, thank goodness it's only five, right? <laughs> I used to read my kickboxing class, do those for like a minute. Whew, what a horrible person I am. <laughs> oh. All right guys, we've reached the top again. Felt like it went so much faster, right? <sighs> Definitely got heart rate going, got a sweat going, the legs are all sorts of activated. It's going to take a little break, catch our water. <sighs> I'll check time, make sure we still look good. <sighs> Let me know how you guys are feeling too. Love the feedback. <sighs> this is uh, officially my 40th completely unique Facebook Live workout, guys. 40th. I have not repeated a day. 
I have not repeated a theme, um, aside from like round two, that I have not straight up duplicated any day. That's 40 unique guys. Pretty impressed with myself. So I love feedback. Let me know what you like and what you want to see, etc. I'm not promising I won't have to start duplicating some, but pretty impressed that I made it to 40, especially since this was never meant to be permanent. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to check the video and then we will get started back at the top of that five half burpees. All right. Yes, Caroline got banned. Awesome girl, good job. Yes, you were who I had in mind when I was trying to think of things without bands. So I'm so glad you got some. Oh, awesome. So happy. All right, guys, so we are going to start back at the top of our pyramid. We got those five half burpees. Go ahead and take yourself one more good deep breath. Bring it down. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Last one. Five. Woo! Now I'm just going. <laughs> All right. Sumo. Three count drop. We got it here. All right. Again, take that stance wide, wide, wide. Toes point out. If you cannot keep those knees open, I want you to have no weight. I want you to really focus on pushing those hips open. Even if you only come down just a little bit, really want you to focus on that, okay? All right. Chest open, shoulders back, tail tucked. We drop for three. One. Two, three, squeeze it out. One, two, three, zip it up. Two, one, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. Well, you'll find, even if your gaze slides, 
13. It's still not moving. 14. So it helps you keep that balance. 15. 16. Slide it. 17. 18. 19. Ooh, I think that would be 19. One more. 20. Woo! Awesome, guys. I know those legs are going to be burning. <sighs> so, we got our bands. Time to put these bad boys back on. Hit the flow. She hit the flow. Next thing you know, show you how to go. Oh gosh, I'm probably going to take my video down because I was just thinking flow right up. <laughs> Wouldn't that be some ish that I do all these videos, sing flow right at one time and get canceled? <laughs> Alright guys, we've got our bridge lips with the band. So we're going to lay it back. Again, we're putting that band back on, so just make sure you've got it up around your thighs, never around your knees. Got that bridge, got our feet, that hip width, and then we just apply some pressure to that band to keep our legs open to that same width. And we lift. Two. Three. I'm gonna squeeze that booty. Four. I'm not helping my booty up at all. Five. I'm just feeling it. I want to feel that activation. Six. Seven. If you're not feeling anything, eight, or you're feeling it in all the wrong places, nine. Ten. Woo! That's where you might want to see. Eleven. A personal trainer. Twelve. To see what's going on why certain muscles are activating. 13, 14, 15. I give you suggestions, but if I don't see them in person, it's very hard. 18, 19, almost there. 20, 21. 22, 23, woo, 24, 25, woo. Guys, if you're not feeling booty activation at this point in the game, <laughs> either you have a booty that just won't quit or <laughs> You need to evaluate your weight selection, your band selection, or like I said, you just need to see somebody in person to figure out what's going on. And I don't mean that in a bad way. We all need some help sometimes. All right, so we've got our alternating mule kicks. We're going to flex those feet. Remember, we're stamping the sole of our foot on the ceiling. We're not kicking out. We're kicking straight up. We've got alternating or weight behind the knee if you don't have a band. Let's do it. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Have that gaze slightly out in front of you so that spine's nice and long. Don't stare down at your knees or your hands. Twelve. Definitely not your knees. Thirteen. But we're all inclined to do that to kind of look down at what our legs are doing. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. But look what that does to my neck. Nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, hip points down to the ground, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Woo! All right, pick a side. We're going to lay it down. I've got sweat just piling up underneath me. <laughs> All right, guys, we got those over and back toe taps. I'm going to go ahead and get my 
back shoulder a break, come down low. Remember, you can keep a hand here to keep yourself from weevil wobbling back. We lift up just a little bit and we tap front to back. Two, three, four, five, six. Little taps. So this is not like those rainbows that we do where we try to draw the biggest rainbow. Nine, ten. Now we're trying to make the smallest rainbow. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Other side.
So I'm going to start off camera so I've got a little more room to work with. I'll count out loud. You can move at your own pace if you wish. All right, let's go. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Make sure you're staying with that same lead leg. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Stay low. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Stop for just a sec. Let's go back to it. Other direction, lead leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Make sure those whole legs are opening, not just your knees. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. That is your break. So that little cue I was just giving you is make sure that when you sidestep open, your whole leg opens. And it's not this, not knees. No way. All the way. Okay? If you're not knees, then your band's too hard or you're stepping too far, most likely, band's too hard. All right, that's our break. I'm just leaving my band on because I like torture, apparently. So I'm gonna get a little bit of water, I'm gonna check the time, make sure we're looking good, and then we'll get started. Ooh, yeah guys, we are definitely running over time. So, I'm going to keep going, because I always do, but we are definitely 7.03, so we've hit an over hour run time, not hour workout time, but that's where we are. So, um, what can we do, what can we do, what can we do? Why don't we, why don't we cut everything in half? How about that? Just to move through a little bit faster. We'll just move, we'll cut everything in half. No cheating, we'll still get through every exercise four times. Sound good? I know this is a little bit longer. Some of the things I have written just take a little bit longer. So we're gonna do 50 band side steps. So let's do, let's cut that in half, say 25. So let's do 13 each direction. Alright? Let's do it. Now I gotta do math. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, other way, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, wall sit, 45 seconds, let's do 20, 30 seconds, <sighs> 20, 30. 20, 19. Now just because we're moving fast, don't make that crap reps. Make them solid, good reps. We're not going for crap. We're just going to speed it up a little bit. All right? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Clam shells. We got 40 on the docket. Let's go for 20. So we'll do 10 each side. So we set it up, heels and hips in line, nice and tall, go for 10 each side. Make them count. Squeeze the heck out of those buns. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, other side. Let's do it. 10, 
Say, make it count. Nine. Squeeze. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Strong through that shoulder. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. Over and back taps. So we did 17 each side. Let's just, you know what? Let's just do 10. Make it easy. Get a little bonus on this one. 10 each side. Lift. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Spin it around. Collecting all the garage floor debris. <laughs> all right, guys. Stack those hips. A little bit of support here. We lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. All right. Alternating heel kicks. Let's just keep it easy again. Let's just do ten instead of fifteen each side. So we're going to do, let's see, twenty. Alternating. Let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Awesome. All right, last thing on the floor, bridge lift with that band. So we're gonna cut this one down. Let's go for, let's go for 15 on this one. All right, set it up. Again, we're not looking for bad reps. We're just speeding it up. Let's go for 15. One, two, three, squeezing that booty. Keeping that pressure in that band. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four. Push against that band. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Shimmy that band off. You served us well today, band. Ah. All right, be careful easing it up. Beautiful. All right, we've got our lateral lunge shifts. We were doing 20. Let's go for 10. Woo! -hoo. All right, get your focus. Pick your non-moving point, and let's go. 10. Nine. Eight, seven, hips back, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, one. Beautiful. All right, guys. 15 squat jumps. Let's cut it to eight. All right. I'm not even worried about the chair for time constraints. Let's just do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, grab that heavy weight. We're going to do five of the three count drops in our sumo. Set it up. Woo! Almost tip yourself over with your heavy weight. Toes pointing out. Knees tracking out. Chest tall. We've got five. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, zip it up. One, two, three, two, last, one, boom, boom. <laughs> awesome. All right, we got our half burpees. Five takes no time. So let's do our five. Let's do it. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Yes. Speed pyramid. <laughs> that was a fast climb. <sighs> now, so we definitely got our cardio in. <sighs> All right, guys. You know I like to give you a nice speech at the end, but I know we're running late. So I'm just going to say, I hope you enjoyed the pyramids. I hope you enjoyed the upper body pyramid last workout, lower body pyramid this workout. Just learning more ways to experiment, to use our body, to see what they can do, to get creative with our work. Just so many awesome things about it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, please give me some feedback. I would love to hear if there's new things you want to try, if there's a class type you want me to revisit, anything, just let me know. I'd love to hear it. Otherwise, please share these workouts, share what you're doing, be proud. And lastly, if you'd like to Venmo me any donations for these classes, they truly are appreciated and of course accepted. Venmo at Strong Style Fit is the only payment I receive for these classes, so I definitely appreciate all of you who do contribute. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Have a great rest of your night, and I will see you very soon. Mwah.